More news for you now. A Spartanburg woman now faces charges after police say she filed a false report about a sexual assault. Spartanburg police say just last month, uh, Taisha Mullins told officers she had been assaulted at Duncan Park. But the police say she later admitted to lying about that report. 7 News reporter Katie Solt has more on what the victim's advocates and the police have to say about the shocking turn in the story. It was here at Duncan Park one month ago where Taisha Mullins says that she was sexually assaulted by three men. But after weeks of investigating and going over the evidence, Spartanburg police say that Mullins was the one that would end up behind bars. A community on edge for weeks after a woman says she was assaulted at Duncan Park. We put the bad investigation in front of a, a lot of investigations. Spartanburg police working around the clock trying to find three men the victim says attacked her. But on October 20th, police closed the investigation and the alleged victim was behind bars. Lieutenant Harwell says the evidence simply wasn't there. And we were having a lot of trouble getting any type of uh, substance on the end of forensic evidence that was submitted. And even after detailed sketches were released, nobody came forward. We did not get an awful lot of uh, tips, especially uh, once we increased the reward amount. I hate it for them more than anything else at this point because they did believe the victim initially and they did work on it so hard. Lynn Hawkins with Safe Homes says in situations like this where an alleged victim is lying to officers, it makes it harder for other victims to come forward. And if they see somebody's been charged with a crime for reporting a sexual assault, whether it was true or not, you know, that's going to make a victim look at it and go, you know, they're not going to believe me. I'm just not going to go forward. But Lieutenant Harwell wants victims to know their doors are always open to report an assault. Lieutenant Harwell says when Mullins was arrested, she did show remorse for lying to officers, and she says that she wants everyone to know that she's sorry and that Duncan Park is still safe for people to come out and enjoy. In Spartanburg, Katie Solt, 7 News. Mullins has been released on bond from the Spartanburg County Detention Center, and we'll keep you posted on any new developments.